Uh, welcome to Cooking with Gandalf. This is my friend Chris, and today we're having a stone war. I'm filming porn and I really like my job. Welcome to our summer special for Cooking with Gandalf. This is, again, my friend Chris. We went to high school together. And yeah, scones, what are you making? I'm making a blueberry scone uh, with an orange base. An orange base? And I'm going to be making apple blackberry scones, which are going to be delicious and way more delicious than Chris's. Mine are going to win. No, they're not. They are. And my mom and my brother will be taste testing. Flower meat. <laughs> Just don't put D in front of it. Just so we have that clear, I'm not going to deflower Chris. Care for an apple. Oh, thank you. Hey, don't be taking my ingredients. Back off. Just some butter too. You want that? <laughs> no, it's been perfectly softened. What kind of professional are you? These are just really delicious scones. Ready? Have you cookie sheet? Uh, yeah, cookie sheet over there, and then I have the little things that you can punch them out with. I'm taking this one. Okay. Because mine are going to be prettier. They're just like a lump. No presentation whatsoever. Did you see how this worked? How I just made six delicious scones in <laughs> that amount of time? Yeah, but see, mine are going to be better because it's worth the wait. You know what? Mine are worth the time, and there's not a lot of time. They're worth more than the time. Come here. Went from the internet. I lied earlier, Vinny. You actually are putting chocolate in them? On them. So yes, I now have made two different kinds. So, in the time it's taken you to half prepare one. Chop. I'm just saying. If I had the apples chopped, this would have been a totally different thing. And uh, hold your hands out. Up, facing up. Thanks. Yeah. I just found a new cooking show called Feast of Fiction with Jimmy Wong. And um, I don't know, because you, you might know Freddie Wong. Yeah. But, uh, Jimmy Wong, I think, is his brother. Oh, but wow. it's, uh, awesome. it's Yeah. But it's a, a cooking show where they cook things from, like, you know, obviously fiction. So they have they made Lemboss bread from Lord of the Rings and, like, Butterbeer from Harry Potter. They made a Minecraft cake. Oh, nice. It's actually really cool. I like it a lot. Delicious appleness. Mine, just to note, also makes way more than Chris's. I have a muffin. Pre-made baking goods, when you're, make, when you're baking goods, is great. And the other one is very cool. Because I put the morning at Stoker. Right? Oh. Good. And I saved your scones. <laughs> you did save them. Thank you, Chris. <laughs> Thank you for saving my scones. Mine are going to be way prettier, especially because I have a whole presentation. that I'm not even finished with these. Once they're cooked, I have more things to do with them. You didn't tell me about my, your secret ingredients, so I'm not going to tell you about mine. I use my hands a lot more, though. Mine's, mine's a lot more rustic. In I have a watch. If I did that, I would get all of the watch. Nah. It's an extreme store. Daredevil oven. You have to go really, really fast. Yeah. Okay. I hope I'll somebody's just... cleared the oven before you get so yeah. we'll just switch them. Okay. Mine are going to be so much prettier than yours. It's totally prettier. Although those are my presentation ones. I don't know. Oh, yeah. Right? Mm -hmm. That's Vinny trying Chris's scones. He's a more well-rounded chef than I am. I just have to say that. And stop looking at me like you're filming porn. What? <laughs> That's the look. That's the look that you have on your face. Awkward you... things that sisters say to brothers. That's the same tea. Look how much prettier they are. Just saying. Mine looks so good. I was just saying the same thing about mine. <laughs> I think it's pretty cute, you guys. <laughs> just saying. Presentation one up. Cut it away. It's good. I like it. I've got to choose Chris's, I'm sorry. The um, blackberry in this is a little overpowering. And the ingredients of Chris's really meld together a little better. But I, it's not I'm saying that this is bad. This is very good. That's it's just tasty. better. Well, because I like the chunks of apple in this one, but I like the taste of the batter of that one. That's not what it's So I like apple in my scone. So you're a tie, then? Yeah, it's a tie. <sighs> Partial judges? Oh, impartial? Okay. We have more partial judges. Thank you. Amy? Mm -hmm. oh, this kind of looks awesome. Mm. Mm. 
Yay! Yeah, they're both excellent. They're different. Yeah, we're, both, we're both solid. We're both really good. All right, guys, numbers. It's a tie. <laughs> so we got ten two ties. Ten. It's 10 and 10. Two ties. They're fabulous. They're both All right, so wonderful. I guess you win by default since my brother voted for you, too. <laughs> so. I, I'm voting for the other ones, the Apple with Blackberry. Blackberry. Um, they're just more subtle. And <laughs> I don't think some should have chocolate melted on them. <laughs> as delicious as they are, it's more of a dessert food. It's famous. <laughs> so, thank you for watching Cooking with Gandalf when we had our scone war. I made apple bl blackberry scones, Chris made his orange and blueberry scones. So, I hope you enjoyed this kind of hastily put together summer version of Cooking with Gandalf. And thank you for joining us, my young hobbits. It's were you before? <laughs> Are you where you were before? Yeah. Farewell, my brave hobbits. My work is not finished. There we go. Stroke the beard.